What's up, streamers? Got another cool piece of news for you today. Check this one out. Stream Elements raised $100 million to build more tools for content creators. I'll leave a link to this article uh, down below. Actually, you know what? No, I won't. If someone else wants to find this article and link it in the comments for us, I'm, I know I'm going to forget. I know who I am, okay? So this is really exciting because this means that Stream Elements has a hundred million dollars and now they are able to do some really key things in order to grow what they offer for content creators. This article actually talks a little bit about this new creator fund that Stream Elements had made to uh, support marginalized creators. This is a hundred thousand dollar fund and essentially they were giving marginalized creators money for like graphics and services and a few other things which was really cool. So it's cool to see them go from that to raising another hundred million dollars in order to create more stuff for us. Uh, the article specifically mentions a few different things. One is hiring out more staff then expanding uh, stream elements to Trovo. They're already in Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. In addition to creating, I thought this was really cool, we're focused on infusing on-demand videos, so YouTube videos, with dynamic interactive features to strengthen the communities around this type of content. If y'all have been on this YouTube channel for longer than, let's say, like six months, you probably saw whenever I was experimenting going live on YouTube as a way to try to grow the sense of community on this YouTube channel. That is a huge difference between live streaming and produced content is it's very difficult to create that sense of community on YouTube versus on something like Twitch, right? And so what's so important about community? Why does it matter that much? Why do we even want to do it with our YouTube channels anyways? Well, community marketing is becoming the most effective type of marketing. People are really not paying attention to traditional old media style of marketing anymore, like billboards and uh, advertisements. A lot of that is starting to go away and communities are now on the minds and the brains of basically every single marketer around the globe right now in order to drive product adoption and new services and the future of blockchain and uh, web 3.0 by the way is going to drive home the importance of community management and community marketing even more and so if you're a content creator developing a community regardless if you're a live streamer or a produced video content creator is incredibly important and so seeing stream elements focus on creating more interactive features for on-demand produced content like this, like YouTube videos, is really cool because that is going to hopefully help different types of content creators create that sense of community with the people who watch their stuff without having to hopefully stumble into it or maybe even necessitating the entire process of going live itself. The reason that live streaming is so important right now within a content creator business model is because it is the number one trust development tool. There is no better format for getting to know who your audience is and your audience getting to know who you are than going live. It doesn't exist. You can't create a community as easily in any other content format that you can on live video. And so it's really important that we have these trust development tools. I'm curious to see if Stream Elements is going to be able to help us develop that sense of community without having to go live as consistently. So the content creator business model could potentially shift a little bit in the future. And that's really exciting to see. You know, in addition to this, I am hoping for something that Hydro mentioned in our stream earlier today, which is that Dro is specifically waiting to see a recurring uh, tip feature in Stream Elements. This exists in Streamlabs already, but it would be really cool if Stream Elements users had the ability to allow their viewers a way to recurrent tip them. Is that the right grammar? I don't even know. To tip them, basically set up a, a tip that's going to happen $5 a month every single month, right? Or $10 or $20, whatever they want to set it to. But recurring tips um, are basically attempting to take the place of uh, Twitch subs, which is huge because as of right now, Twitch takes 
50% of y'all's business, at least from subs, those numbers are a little bit different for bits and traditional tips, of course, but still Twitch taking 50% is a very, you know, common conversation that's happening right now, which is great. Streamers are incredibly powerful and deserve more than 50%, hands down, no questions asked. And so what I would love to see, not only Streamlabs, Stream Elements, and anybody else creating a recurring tip feature, but also eventually that pressuring Twitch into maybe changing the 50-50 split? I don't know, we'll see. Either way, really excited for the Stream Elements team. Just want to say congrats to everyone. Uh, Chase Just Chase, who does Chase Just Chase, who does PR over at Stream Elements, and everyone else on the team over there. It is not easy to raise a hundred million freaking dollars. And the fact that they were ever they were able to put together a proposal that investors saw as so valuable that they wanted to give them a hundred million is awesome. Regardless if it was a million, a hundred million, or a billion, that is a huge success. So congratulations to the team. Of course, if y'all would like to uh, get this type of content in a much faster, quicker format, head over to my TikTok at tiktok.com slash at ashneychrist underscore. You can get this type of content, but way faster. Uh, I'll see y'all over there. I love you so much. Bye.